Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fire Emblem Unpromoted Challenge here on the Silver Rooster. Now, I know last episode I said I was going to get Nils to level 7, but I did begin trying that and every enemy unit started moving out. I was like, well I can't have that because I need to show everyone the action that happens in the chapter. So I'm going to try to get him to level 7 before all this ends. Uh, hopefully I can do that. I might have to make this two parts just so I can get him to level 7 because I really want to get that extra chapter. So let's just see if we can do it, see how it goes. So this is the final part of Lin's story. After this we move on to a different main character who I haven't chosen yet. And I have got to use the angelic robe you are holding in this chapter or I'm going to lose it because I'm pretty sure everyone's... After this chapter, the game does like a time skip kind of thing. It goes like one year later, so everyone's going to be equipped with different items. Different things are going to happen, so everything I have now is going to be lost. Except Lynn's going to have her monocotti back, but I'm pretty sure its uses will be reset. It will go back to 45, which is why I had no problem with using it a lot this way through, like, these first ten chapters. It's gonna be really sad if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna see what I can do, so... First off, we'll have Florina fly into the water here. Uh, you'll head there. And Nils, I'm gonna have you play for someone every turn, even though it won't benefit anything, just so you can get the experience. Because I need you to be level seven. So, you know, let's get that. I need two, there are two requirements that need to be met, and this is just one of them. So, let's see what we can do. I moved Sane into a magic user's way. That may have been a bad choice, but yeah, we're just going for it. Okay, well, never mind. That guy just blocked the magic user. Those clouds look bad. It's going to rain soon. Let's go, Stefan. We should press on while we're still able. I just completely forgot about that. There is rain in this chapter that slows you down. It's really annoying, actually. Okay, let's see. What can we do? Uh, Dark Ass, why don't you kill this man? Kill him for me. Aw, oh, Dorcas, why can't you ever dodge for me? Well, you're ne you've never been in harm's way yet. Okay, come on, Dorcas. Speed and strength. Come on, speed and strength. Lock! Okay. Man, okay, so, you know, so far I've only ever gotten two bad level ups, and that was one of them. Alright, let's see. Okay, now you can reach this magic user. Can you finish him? No, you cannot. Did your lance level go up yet? Oh, come on. The I. Alright, you know what? Just get him. Just get him. Come on, Sane, you can dodge it. I believe in you. You've got this. Oh, Sane. Why would anyone want to be lit on fire? Why didn't you dodge, insane? Alright, no level up. They are pretty powerful units now, so they go... Finally, I just wanted that lance level up. Alright. Can you finish off your end... Wait, where is your range? Okay. You can't reach her if she attacks. You can't finish him, though. Alright, let's... You know what, let's just weaken him, then. Get her some experience, because I think anyone else can finish him. I want Florina to get. I don't know how far I'm gonna carry some of the. I'm gonna bring some of these characters, so I gotta get them experience now while we're in the early stages, just to see how well they hold up. I have no idea who to bring in an unpromoted challenge. This way, when that other archer comes by, he's not gonna choose to attack you, but if he does, you can fight back. What are your weapon levels? All right, C and D, and C and D. Okay, you guys are. Well, first with each other. Move my archer in the way. Where can you attack again? I gotta memorize this. Okay. Lin, you'll be fine if you move here. Wallace is really gonna be bad in this level, just moving him around. Uh, moving everyone in general. This is another one of those awkward levels where there's just so many obstacles that slow down a character's movement. And then, uh, why not play for Sarah so she could just go heal Dorcas? And it gets you 10 more experience, Nils. Man, I, this is gonna be great. I hope I don't have to divide this into two episodes just because I want Nils to be... You still can't even reach him. Just because I want Nils to be level 7. Alright, I thought that might happen. Oh, Sane. You can do better. Man, there are a lot of archers here. 
And everyone is slowed down because of the rain. Alright. Well, you can still reach this guy, I guess. I think the rain drops your hit rate, too. That's just annoying. Or is it because he's standing on the house that he got some avoidance? Alright, Sane. What do you got? Come on, be a good one. Yes, strength and speed. This is beautiful. Yeah, the house does give a little avoidance. Alright, we gotta start. Man, it's so awkward with this now. I'll move you down here. I don't know. This one guy, I think she can take. So I'll kind of move her downward. I guess you'll kill Dorcas. I have no idea. I hate this rain. I think there's only one other chapter that has something like this, but it's quite a ways off. Alright, Sarah, what do you got? As a healer who doesn't fight, there's not much I really care for you to have. I try to keep you out of battles as much as I can, anyway. Ah, oh, rain. This is just... Look at this. One space each. And play. Ah, oh, man. This is just... I really don't like this rain. I mean, I guess it makes sense given the area they're in. I don't know what it really looks like. Alright, let's see. There's really not much of you left. This chapter would got, go by so much faster if it just weren't the rain. Look, the clouds are breaking. The rain should stop soon. Have your Slim Lance equipped. Move her one more space down and she'll be golden. Then she can take that guy. Alright. Move everyone as downward as we can. Can either of you even reach that? The rain's about to stop. I don't. Well, let's stop on the enemy's turn. That'll be stupid. I'll move you here just in case, I guess. All right. Wow. I, you all are seeing this, right? This is just bad, isn't it? Ah. Uh. All right. I guess you'll play for Will. No, that's not Will. All right. Well, at least Will's still near you for you to play. Alright, is that your first level up, Nils? I really wish he gained more than 10 per time he does that. Alright, HP, speed, and luck. Alright. Okay, still raining on the enemy's turn. Oh, no. They all went that way. But don't worry. Who do I want to attack? I'm saying you could use some health. Man, she could actually reach people now. I guess I'll have Wrath shoot him with an arrow. He's never really... He hasn't done much for the team yet. And he's about to level up, so... Why not? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, you critical, though. You made up for it. Good job, Wrath. Alright, come on. Good level up. This is your first one in the game so far. That's pretty good. I mean, I really did want some strength there, not gonna lie. Alright, we'll move you into the mountains, because those offer more defense, actually. And then, uh, we'll start moving everyone downward. Switch you to your javelin, because there's a magic user down there. Okay, yeah, he'll attack you, and you'll fight back. You'll switch to your javelin, too, just in case. We'll just start moving everyone out as far as we can, as fast as we can, before any of the enemies even know what hits them. And where can you reach, Nils? Oh, good, you can play for Will. Ten more experience, yeah! Alright, this is good so far. Alright, alright, where can you even reach? Oh, you might go for Wrath now that he's in your way and he can't attack back. That's everyone. Nope, you still went for Florina. Critical. Come on, Florina. Critical. Oh, you can only attack once. Alright, you'll critical this one. Right, Florina? Oh. Oh, hey, you can hit that one. What's going on here? Alright, what's the speed of all three of these guys here? And that's what I thought would happen. Man, I forgot. Sane has zero resistance. Sane cannot fight magic users. I'm gonna have to remember that. 
And he missed! Say! You can do better. Alright, what's the levels of you guys? Nine and eight. Alright, Sane, you'll finish him off. Kent, how do you keep staying far ahead of him? Alright, Sane, finish him off and then I'll have- Okay, unnecessary. So there it is again. I'm telling you, the, the, the only re reason I'm getting these criticals is because I don't need them. And I think I get an energy ring here. You finally made it here, have you? Such a long way. We're all behind Lady Lindus, all of us. Here, take this. Use it in your battle against Ludgrin, please. It's an energy ring. It'll increase your strength and magic power a bit. There are lots of items that argue that augment your abilities. These are hard to come by, so think carefully before you use them. Of course, not using them at all would be a, a terrible waste as well, right? Items like this might vanish once you've used them. Bear them in mind and use them wisely. So here's my problem. I have two consume. Oh, I have to discard something. We just get rid of that iron sword. I don't think he's going to use it. Alright. Here's the problem. I have this energy ring now. Increases magic or strength by two points. Vanishes after use. And this angelic robe. Usually what I do when I play this is I give the robe to Lucius. And I think the ring to Urk. But honestly, I've never played an unpromoted challenge before. So I don't know how good they end up becoming. So I don't know. What is everyone's speed? I do not know if I want to use them how I usually do. Honestly, I'm, I've been considering just using them both on Lin, since she's a main character and I have to bring her into the final level. I don't get a say in that. So it sounds like a good idea, but it does have flaws too, because let's say the other two will be good units, then that's a waste. I just don't know what to do. I think I will just end up using them both on Lin, though. I don't really know what else to do with them, and I have to use them now. I don't have the time to stop and think about this. I mean, I've been trying to the whole ploy the whole time we had that angelic robe. So you know, I'm just not too sure. I may just be using them both on Lin. It just sounds like a, the best idea with what I have. All right, how much can you do if you throw a jet? Not enough. That's the answer. Where can you reach? Okay, we'll move you into the trees, leave that equipped, and let him come to us again. You are fleeing? Coward. He's gonna go all the way to a fortress just to heal. Alright, we'll have Florina finish off that guy. And we'll have him finish off her finish off that other guy too. How dare he flee? Alright, Sane. Move you here. What does this cavalier have? A lance, a lance, sword. Okay, here's what we'll do. Nils, where can you move? Okay, Will? You're in the way. <laughs> That's just it, Will. You're just in the way. Okay, I'll think of this. I want to send Dorcas after those guys with the lance. So, Will, you'll move here. Dorcas, you'll move here, and hopefully you can start reaching with Nils playing for you. See, Nils did do something useful in the time I'm trying to level him up. Alright, what do we got? That's good. Did he gain, like... Okay, he has 30. I thought it said 13 for a second. I was really confused. Okay. How can we do this? Guess we can... Nope, that won't work. I want you with your iron axe. Uh, I guess Wrath can finish him. He can. I don't know what else to do. I know they're gonna attack Wrath now because he's nearby and can't fight back at close range. I wanted to really use Dorcas to bait those guys and they're coming over here. Here, we'll put... I guess we'll put Kent right here with uh, Iron Lance. Insane. You'll move out too. I don't really think I even need to check out these shops, but why not? Really? One damage away. Alright, uh... I guess we'll take that Angelic Robe. I... You know what? Yeah, I'm using them on Lin. I don't know who else to use them on. So, she goes from 21 to 28 HP, just because it increases it by 7. I don't know who else I'm going to use them on. There have been times where I use the Angelic Robe on Matthew, because I took him far and made him an assassin, but... 
Even when you do make Matthew an assassin, there is one who joins later on who's a bit better, in my opinion, but the problem is he already begins as an assassin, so I'm not going to get to use him in this playthrough anyway. And here come the Cavaliers. Fight back, Kent. Can you kill him? Kent, can you strike twice? You can. Oh, Kent, Kent you're going to kill all these guys before Dorcas even gets a chance. Actually, they both can't reach him. Okay. Those clouds look bad. It's going to rain soon. Let's go, Steph. Oh, it's the same thing, because it just keeps happening over and over again. Uh, why not? Dorcas, you'll just fight at the edge of this bridge against all these guys. I'll move Sarah behind you, and she can heal you, in case you actually do get hit. Uh, here's what we'll do. Lynn, you'll head here, and trade with Kent so you can get that energy ring, because I'm just going to use them both on you. I have to use you throughout the game, because you're a main character anyway, so... Some extra strength and HP isn't bad for you, I guess. Some of the other characters in this who are, like... For all I know, I'm not even going to use any of the characters in Lin's group any further. I mean, I doubt it, but there is a chance of it. Then we'll move you down here. We'll move you there. Where can you even move, Wallace? Okay. We'll move Florina over here, because she's going to take care of this guy fleeing from her. Why would you ever run away from Florina? I mean, yeah, she's trying to kill you, but... She's an adorable little girl. Alright, take care of it, Saint. Yeah! If your strength was one point more, you could have just knocked that down in one hit. Alright. I guess Will's going the long way. I don't know what to do with these people. They're all cluttered together. I don't know. That seems good. It's going to start raining. Dorcas, you're going to take care of... Oh, good. You chose them. You made a mistake, sir. Florina is going to finish you off. Alright, Dorcas is going to just start slowly moving out and taking care of all these cavaliers. Alright, strength! And speed! And resistance. But, well, you know, that's the last time she was going to be needing it. I don't think she's doing any more fighting in this chapter. And you got hit, but that's what the healer's for. I just kind of want Dorcas to take care of all the guys with lances. Or at least most of them. Dorcas might be... It's begun to rain. Yeah, we know, Lynn. Alright, let's, uh... I guess try to get Sane to that shop over there. Dorcas might be my key fighter against this guy, because he does have a hammer, which is effective against armored units, but unfortunately the hammer has a very low hit rate. Alright, let's see what we got. Nils? Okay. Kent. Where can you reach again, Nils? Ah, uh, not far enough. Far enough to not make a distance. A difference, that's how far. Alright, uh... You heal. Oh, wrong person! I did it again. I did that in an earlier chapter. I did it again. Alright, Dorcas, you're strong enough to survive for a while, so... I should have moved him into the trees to the left. I made a mistake. He'll be fine. Ah, that's... I've made that mistake twice now. Throw a javelin. Oh, man, that's actually a low chance of hitting. Alright, we got him anyway. Ah, I really, really get irritated whenever I make that mistake. It happens all the time. I do it all the time, and I still don't learn. Alright, just to get Nils some more experience. Good job, Nils. You got this. Uh, Lucius, I guess you move. Lucius, I guess you move over. All this, you do your thing of moving of two spaces. Uh, not much else that can be done here. Well, Lynn can move out and clear some space, because that guy can't reach. Uh, I guess we'll move you down there, so you can go there. And then you can go there, because why not? How else am I going to do it? Florina, you're just going to hang out there. Hey, another one. Oh, boy. Rain stopped? Alright, that was fast. Alright, Kent, javelin throw. Good job, Kent. And Sarah, heal Dorcas this time. Come on, Dorcas. Get yourself some heals! Okay, and, uh, 
Well, we're getting closer. We're getting closer, all right? I promise this is progression. It's very slow, agonizing progression, but it is progression. All right, what do we got? Is there ever even... Oh, hey, there's weapons specifically for fighting him. I'm going to lose them after this chapter anyway, though. Uh, I don't really think I'll need any of it, though. I guess we'll buy the heavy spear. Yes, it does. Okay. What are you wielding, saying that's... You can't carry any more items. I guess we can get rid of one of those iron lances. Just to clear up space. And then we get heavy spear. Just because we might need use it. We'll check out what's at the shop next. Alright, uh... Where can you reach? Just Dorcas. Alright. Uh... Play your flute, Nils. You know, these guys are gonna stop coming out of the fortress soon, so... Who am I even going to... I'm not going to send a lot of people over to Ludgren. Well, to specifically fight him. Go ahead there. Honestly, it's probably just going to be Sane, Kent, Lynn, and Wallace, and Dorcas. So, I don't even think I need to worry about these guys anymore. My mages and Will and Matthew did nothing to benefit the team this chapter. Don't feel down on yourself, guys. There was just nothing you could do. You were not suited for this area. Alright, Dorcas, why don't you try a hand axe attack? And if you miss, Nils can get you to attack a second time, but that won't be necessary. Alright, not a lot left here. I'll send Dorcas down there with a hammer to take care of that knight. I have not even gained you anywhere near the levels I wanted to. Alright, what's in the shop? Uh, a higher level magic spell, but... <clears throat> Let's take out Ludgren's def like resistance. Seven, half of what it is. Uh, you know, I don't even think I need my magic users against the guy. Heavy Spirit can bring it down in one hit, why not? I'm gonna lose it after this chapter anyway. I can waste it on a tree. Alright, start moving everyone down. I'm gonna take care of that, uh... I'll send Florina down, too. Mostly just to stand on that fortress Dorcas is standing on, just to make sure more Cavaliers don't start appearing. Because I think I'm just about done with this chapter. Alright, Hammer's already equipped. No, don't discard it, just wait. Can that knight even reach? Okay. I hope this guy moves. So we'll send Sane there. Kent there. Lynn there. Nils. I'll send Florina there. Nils there. Play your song. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave you guys for a second here. Get Nils to level 7 and then return. So, I'll see you guys in a quick second. It will only be a few seconds for you, but it will be, I don't know, 20 minutes for me just to get Nils up. So, I'll see you guys in a second. And I am back, everyone. As you can see, I've gotten Nils to level 7. It only took me about 10 minutes, so about half the time that I thought it would be. So, you know, Nils is level 7 now. Somehow he's literally the fastest character I have now. I don't understand why he has so much speed. So, also, a while ago it started raining while I was leveling Nils up, and it hasn't stopped yet, so I don't know if this time it's permanent, but it's actually really annoying. It's just still here. So I might just have to deal with that now. I don't know if that's a thing that just happens when you do nothing for... When you wait long enough, but... It just happened, so... I might just be stuck with it. It's unfortunate, and it's really annoying. But I think it's just here to last now. Alright, let's see what we got. Ludgren, uh, hold on, let's give Lynn that Lance Slayer, I guess. Lance Re Weaver, I guess, just so... She has something to fight this guy with. Let's see, Dorcas, what can you do? 16 damage. 16, but you only have a 53 hit chance. Ah. Uh, Alright. Dorcas, you're gonna wait a turn there. And let Ludgren make his move. So let's see how this goes. This is my realm, and you've entered without my permission. You will not leave these lands alive. I like your purple armor, actually. You know, you may be one of the biggest jerks I've ever met, but, I mean, 
you at least you know about fashion. I really like that purple colored armor you got. Dorcas, I was really relying on that hit. Okay. I have no I That's not gonna protect you well enough. I don't think. Alright, Lin, what can you do with that Lance Weaver? Three damage, and he can do 21. Man, this guy is actually kind of tough. What can I do? Hmm. Not much. There's not much I can do. Alright. He's going to switch to that Javelin to attack Dorcas, and it's a much weaker weapon, so this might work out in my favor. Let's see. This guy might take some time. And Dorcas, you dodged, you beautiful man. Alright, let's try and get my healer closer now. I didn't... I guess I didn't think this guy would be so tough. Boy, that was my mistake. Alright, I am actually really tired of hearing that flute after having to sit through it this whole time. It really bothers me now. I don't think it will ever be the same for me. Alright. Ah, oh, man, why can't anyone all right just use another voluntary I guess we'll switch to your hand X I don't think it will do you any good anyway but uh where uh, no one can reach I don't want to move Lynn equip your Lance Reaver so you'll still be good at dodging that and Kent do you even can you even really hurt this guy you do have an armor slayer We'll move Sane over first, because I think that heavy spear is really what's going to do it for me. I don't know, just a feeling. How? What's your skill? Eight, and Sane is eight. Okay. Oh, what am I going to do? So, you're the girl claiming kinship with my brother. You'll, you'll play this farce to the very end, won't you, Ludgren? The royal house of Kalin has no need of a Sakaian mongrel. I'll put an end to this foolishness here and now. To further your own black ambition, you've harmed my grandfather and the very land you ought to serve. I have neither pity nor mercy for you. Ludgrin, prepare yourself. Welp. That's it, welp. Okay. So if she had any other sword equipped, she would have had a harder time dodging that. But the Lance Reaver, as we know, reverses the triangle. Okay, Sane. Okay, Sane, I'm gonna have you just wait there and let him make the move. Dorcas, I'm gonna have you go around, I guess. Kent, you'll move over there. I'll move her downward and uh, play this song again so she can move again. Oh, I hope that song isn't ruined for me forever, just that animation in general. It really bothers me now after sitting through it for so long. I guess Dorcas will remain there. <laughs> Wallace, I can't even move him down anymore. Man, maybe giving him the heavy spear if I can get him down there would be the best thing to do. Giving it to Wallace and letting him take care of it. Ah, Sane. You're not like that subordinate fool Kent. You're reasonable. Leave this child Lindis and stand at my side. You will go far in my service. That is a gracious offer, my lord. Lord? Quite. However, I am rather fond of my friend, the stubborn fool. And if I am to pledge my service to any liege, I would choose lovely Lady Lindis over a foul, over foul Ludgren, regardless of the risk. Fool, I will make you regret that decision. That was a nice conversation, wasn't it? I thought I froze. Oh, Sane, you made our first hit. Good job. Too bad you're about to die, too. You need to get out of there. Man, I can never have someone just where I need them to be. Okay, I know how to do this. I don't think I'm... Okay, it might just be Sane doing all the work here. Because he's got the heavy spear. Turns out I really did need it. And he's going to switch back to that lance, like that javelin again. Here, play the song again, Nils, for good old Wallace. I may not even need Wallace to go down there. There are two more conversations that can happen with him, with the two other characters, and there are Wallace and Kent, but it's just pretty much going to go the same way of him saying they've lost, so I don't think I need to even try to unlock them for you, but I, I might give it a go. Let's see. Go, oh, Lin! Okay, you'll be fine, Lin. 
will heal Sane again. Just because he's the guy. He can do this. He's going to end this for me. And then Lin will use a Volinary again, because I'm going to lose them all anyway. I mean, each person might start with, like, one when I get them back, but... Uh. Alright, we'll do the same thing as before. Okay, you know what? We'll still move Wallace down. Dorcas, you'll get out of the way, because you're not doing what I was initially hoping you'd do. I don't know what to do with Kent. Man, this guy is tougher than I thought he would be, than I remember. Then again, I don't... I'm, maybe I just don't remember how tough he was on hard mode, either. Alright. How much damage was he able to do the same? What is the difference in defense? You have 7, you have 15. You have almost double, so you'll take half the damage. Your speed is 5, your speed is also 5. The only reason Sane can't attack twice is because of how heavy the spear is, I think. Hmm, this is just not a good... Alright, Sane, you'll... You'll wait there one more time. And we'll see how this turn goes. I might have Wallace finish him off. It might just be the better option. Do the fight again. Come on, dodge it this time, Sane. Aw, oh, Sane. Okay, hit him again, please. Uh, I just can't land the hits. Alright, Sane, you move back again. Sarah, you'll... I, ha I know what I'm gonna do. Alright. You'll heal Sane. I know she's in the way of the javelin, but Nils is right there. Man, this is gonna be a long chapter. This is gonna be a long episode. I just can't hit this guy. Alright. Give him the heavy spear. And then you'll play for Sarah, and I'll move her out of the way. Aw oh, man, I gotta finish this fast. I think this is going to be my longest episode so far. Alright. Lin, you'll stand... I don't know where I'll have you. I think I'll just leave you there. Alright. There's nothing else I can do to this guy. I guess I could have Lin try to pick him off bit by bit with that Lance Weaver. Alright. Sane, you'll move out of the way. Wallace, you'll move one space over. Ah, uh, okay, you should be able to make it your next turn. How much does Lin do again? Three damage. I might have to pick him off three damage at a time later. Alright, let's see how this goes. Dorcas, you'll go back to your original spot, I guess, and you'll... Ah. Uh, you'll leave that hand axe equipped, but you won't attack yet. Alright, I may have to bring this guy down bit by bit, because the damage Sane did is almost already gone. Man, what is... Alright. I don't think that spear will slow you down any, because you're a big guy, so let's see. Oh, that's the wrong weapon. Okay. 15. Let's do it. Alright, there's no conversation between these two. I thought there would be. Alright, well, at least you hit. You landed an attack. So, we're doing good so far. And you have a lot of defense. It might just have to be Wallace finishing him off. He's gonna switch to that Silver Lance to do more damage. Oh no, he's still gonna attack Lin. I s wow, that's a surprise. Alright, I think I found out the strategy here. Alright, we can do this. Just attack him again. Land the hit again, please. Alright, we're doing good! Alright, he's taking a bit of damage. But he's so defensive that Ludgren's not even gonna bother trying to bring him down. So... Uh, Dorcas, why not even just throw that axe just to add a little bit, just in case? Hmm, you better dodge too, Dorcas. Good. I was gonna say. Alright. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother again. I have the strategy. We can do this. I just gotta land one more attack. One more attack and we'll be good. And if it misses, I'll just have Lin chip him down, I guess. Just cause he's pretty- he's gotten pretty low. Alright, I am actually thinking I'm going to move Lin out of the way, so he just attacks Wallace. Just because it might allow me, it, like, Wallace might hit him on his turn. So let's, let's give it a go. 
I knew he'd switch to that silver one. And you dodged. Good work, Wallace. Yes! It's over! That annoying little girl! Nothing but a savage! From Sakaya! The Kowloon throne should be mine! Well, it's not. Thrones don't belong to dead people. Ah, oh, good job, Wallace. At least the short time you were with us, you really proved you were worth something. So I'm actually going to have him do his class change, just so you can see what that's like. Because Lin, Lin can, in fact... Alright, just to show you what a class change is like, let's do it for Wallace right now, because we're not going to see him again, ever in the game. So this is what it's like when you change classes. He goes from a knight to being a general. And let's say he were level 20. He got as far as he can get. Were he level 20, he'd get this boost and be able to grow all the way back to level 20 again. Which is why it's best to get your units to level 20 before upgrading them. And with that, we seize the throne. We lower the castle. We've won. We've won. At last, I can see my grandfather. You are Lady Lindis, are you not? Who are you? I am Rezaman, the chan the ca the chancellor of the Kalin royal family. We'll never speak to this guy again either. I have received word from Kent and Sane when you first met. But then Ludgren discovered the message and imprisoned me. How did you get out? I didn't free you. It was a it was my great pleasure to welcome you to the, your true home. Thank you. May I see my grandfather now? Yes, of course. Do not be shocked by what you see. Ludgren has been poisoning the Marquise's meals for some time. His body has been ravaged. He's been bedridden for months. Mmm, that poor guy. Who is there? I said no visitors. I will see no one. Look how sad Lin looks. What are you doing? Leave me to die. Um, pardon me. My name is... I'm Lindis. Eh? Did you say Lindis? Is that... My father's name was Hazar, chieftain of the Lorca. My mother was Madeline. I was raised on the plains. Could it be? Come, come here, let me see your face. Ah, uh, yes, there is no doubt. You are Madeline's true-born child. Uh, uh, grandfather! He's dying, that poor old man. Ludgren told me that my daughter had died. My heir, and you too, he told me you were dead. Thank you. Thank you for living. I am blessed. Mother and father were slain last year by brigands. I I was the only survivor. I lived on, but... Lindis, please forgive a prideful old man. If I had but accepted your parents' love, then w there would have been no bandits. We would have lived here together in perfect peace. Grandfather, my parents, my tribe. Our life was one of love and peace. The end was tragic, but up until the attack, we were truly happy. Truly, Madeline had a life of happiness. Knowing that gives me mu so much joy. Touching moments. I can't even joke about this now. I can't make any jokes on this. Thank you, Lindis. I can die in peace now. No, Grandfather, you mustn't say that. There's no avoiding it, Lindis. I've taken too much poison for far too long. It's too late. Be brave, Grandfather. You will recover, believe me. On the plains, we say that illness f fails in the face of a strong heart. I am with you now. You mustn't give up. You're with me? Yes. We have so much to talk about. Walks to take. Music to listen to. There's so much I want to do with you. So much lost time we can recover. That does sound nice, doesn't it? And once you're well, I'll take you to the plains. I'll show you the endless sky, the oceans of grass. I want you to know the lands my mother loved so much. The lands Madeline loved. You're right, I still have quite a bit to, of living to do. You can do it, Grandfather. Lindis. Ah, such happy endings. Lady Lindis! Do you honestly plan to remain here? Tell me truthfully. Yes, my grandfather is well. I can't- isn't well. I can't leave him now. I won't. I didn't read that right. The physician says that Lord Hazen looks like a new man. It's like he was never ill. Poison doesn't work that way. And it's all thanks to you, milady. I don't know if that's true. Does poison work that way? I've never been poisoned. He's the only family I have left. I want him to have a long life. I've never been or known anyone to be poisoned. Lady Lindis? What is it, Florina? 
I've been taken into service by House Kalin. From here on, Lin, I mean Lady Lindis, we'll be together always. Really? Oh, that pleases me so, but please don't call me Lady Lindis. For you, I'm still just Lin. My Pegasus and I fly for your house now. I am your servant. There are rules to follow. Florina, I'm happiest when I'm with you. That's more important than how I address you. Please? I suppose I'll just have to get used to it, right? Very well, I understand. Oh, thank you, Lynn. I do love you, Lynn. Oops, I mean Lady Lindis. Florina. She's so adorable! Lady Lindis, I've decided to stay too. Will, weren't you planning on returning home? Well, I was, but... I've grown quite fond of Lindis' legions, you know? I couldn't possibly leave everyone behind. I'd feel the same way. I'll send word to my family regarding my decision. I'm pleased to have you, Will. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. Stefan, you're leaving, aren't you? I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay with you any day. No, I'm not asking you to stay. You should. I'll do it. I'm just... It's just, I'll miss you. When I found you unconscious on the plane, still not sure how that happened, I had no idea we would be together for so long. You've helped us so much, and I'm sure you've learned all you can from us. No, I can continue learning. What does that matter? I'll stay with you, Lynn. You'll do just fine on your own. I have the utmost faith that you'll be a master tactician, Stefan. That's from someone who's seen you at work. I don't want to leave! Well then, take care. I, I hope to see you again. I'm sure that I will someday. Oh man. Sad moments everywhere. But happy ones too. Kent, Knight of Lycia. For his bravery in fulfilling his command, Kent is named Knight Commander of Kalin. It is a high honor for one so young, but no one denies his worth. I don't have time to make jokes, they're coming so fast. Sane, Knight of, Ly of Lycia. Sane has earned the honor of being named Sub-Commander of the Kalin Knights. Despite his promotion, he still scoffs at authority and woos the village girls. He is much loved by the citizenry. Florina, Pegasus, Knight of Elia. Florina has arranged to stay in Kalin. She spends ev her every waking hour in rigorous training, hoping to become invaluable to Lynn. Her fear of men has lessened, but only slightly. Will, Archer of Ferrari. His, with his cheery outlook and his happy-go-lucky demeanor, Will has become quite dear to Marcus Callan's household. Kent is teaching him manners befitting a sworn man of Castle Callan. Dorcas, fighter of Burn! Once Lynn's true heritage is recognized in Callan, Dorcas returns to his home in Burn. There he cares for his wife and makes a good living as a mercenary, fighting for local, fighting the local bandits. Sarah, clerk of Ostia. Ultimately, Irk succeeds in seeing Sarah safely to Ostia. While her behavior is irritating at best, she is sorely missed. Her, uh, her tongue has become legendary. I can't read this fast enough. Irk, the wandering mage. His contract with Sarah complete, Irk sent, uh, sets off to Etruria. His time as a mercenary is just part of his training, and he is glad to see it end. He has since returned to his mentor. I can't say this. In celebration following Lynn's return to Castle, Ka to Kalin, Wrath slips out unseen. Whether he has returned to Sakaia or has continued work as a mercenary, no one knows. Matthew, the enigmatic mage, I thief. Matthew vanishes after the final battle, and his whereabouts remain a mystery. Short and sweet, I like it. Nilsen, myste the mysterious musician. Nils and his sister Ninian take their leave to ca of Castle Callan after a few days. He may be traveling land somewhere. I didn't read it fast enough, don't know. Lucius, the traveling monk. Lucius studies in Callan for a time, but he departs after receiving summons to another land. He has since been seen traveling with a hard-eyed mercenary. Wallace, the, ca the Callan general. For Wallace, Lin's struggle only whets his appetite for battle. He sets off in search of a cause worthy of his blade. He lacks any sense of direction, so it may t be years before he returns. Stefan, the tactician. Stefan leaves Lin to continue his training. He plans on traveling throughout Lycia. Lin refuses to say goodbye, believing in her heart that she will see him again. I want to believe that too. I didn't want to leave. What's going on here? Lin, the sword fighter from Sakea. My god, how is anyone supposed to read that? Lin now lives with her grandfather as Lady Lindis of Castle Callan under her loving care, Lord Hausen recovers and- COME ON! The one time it stops it disappears. On clear dry nights, Lin can be seen high atop a hill near the castle. Seriously, now it's gonna be slow? Perhaps she is remembering the home of her youth, the plains of Sakea.
Seriously, I didn't even have time to make sure I was pronouncing things correctly in any of that. I missed all of it. How was anyone supposed to follow? Alright, and with that, that completes chapters 1 through 10. So what we have now is a bit of a dilemma. I have to choose between either a Lywood to continue from chapter 11 till the end of the game, or for Hector from chapter 11 to the end of the game. So I'm actually going to leave this decision to the viewers. It's not going to be a huge vote, it's going to be the first one to decide. First comment or message I get, whatever your preferred way of contacting me is. First person to message or comment who they want me to play as, that's who I'm playing as. So, you better jump right on that, I'm not sure how long that's going to last. And hopefully I will see you next time.